Hey there guys, I am the Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. So the Age of Darkness box is up for pre-order. As we speak, as you listen to this video, you can be going to grab your box ready to be in your hands in just two short weeks. So go do that if you're interested and then come back, please. But whilst all of those gorgeous new infantry models, the Kratos heavy tank, the upgrade sprues, the Rhino, whilst all of that is now new and confirmed to be in plastic, it has also been confirmed that a lot of the other Forge World old resin kits are going to be eventually making their way over to plastic as well. We have had confirmation that the Sikaran tank is going to be making the move and the new Contemptor which is coming in the box is also getting some extra sprue options and weapons coming in plastic as well. In fact the only thing that is definitely staying as resin for now anyway is the Legion specific units and the Primarchs. And so with that in mind and to show us what is coming next they have announced the next kit which is making the move over to plastic and that is the much loved much feared chonky boy himself the leviathan dreadnought and i have to say as you can see on your screen now this new kit looks insane the detail on the model is just mind-blowing and as you can see it does look every millimeter like the old resin design just obviously in much cheaper and much easier to work with plastic. And for me, this is a huge, huge step forward. I really do hope that eventually all of the Forge World kits do make their way over to plastic. But focusing on this guy specifically, he comes in with a unbelievably hefty amount of armor. He looks huge and really imposing on the table. He's got toughness seven, a two up save and a massive 14 wounds. So he is going to be a very, very sturdy anchor point for your list if you want to use him. From the sounds of it, from the article, the kit is going to come with a choice of ranged options. He has the Grav Flux Bombard, the Cyclonic Melter Lance and the Storm Cannon, which you can see on your screen now, alongside two options for his chest area, uh, which come in the form of a pair of Heavy Flamers or the Heresy Volkite Calivers. So he is very much a ranged combatant with this kit. But in the game itself, in Heresy itself and in 40k, he can actually change those ranged options for uh, melee weapons instead. He does have access to a thing called a Siege Claw or a Siege Drill, but it doesn't sound like they are going to be in this box. And I will say that is a bit of an odd choice in my opinion. I mean, why not just put them all together in one box? Maybe Yes, it would raise the price of the box a little bit, but just having them all together in one kit and letting people do their own customization and magnetizing and everything does seem like the sensible thing to do. It does seem that for now, at least, if you do want some melee options on your Leviathan, you are going to have to pick up the Forge World arms from Forge World, which are still resin. So the melee options will still be resin for now. But on the other hand, like we've seen for the Marine Special Weapons, I would be very, very surprised if we didn't get an updated separate plastic box with those melee arms in the very near future. It's worth noting for some legions that whilst this kit is super, super detailed and it looks amazing, so you won't feel bad about getting it. But if you do want a more specific, unique legion version, there is a custom one on the Forge World site for the Night Lords. Uh, the white scars and there was for the dark angels the dark angels one does now say it's no longer available which is a bit odd the other two are still up so i don't know if they are all three going to be going away or if the dark angel one will be coming back it seems weird that one of them would be going and the other two are staying but certainly if you want a more unique option for your leviathan you can still go for this if you are a Night Lord or a White Scars player. It is obviously still resin, but it does have a bit more bling and a bit more faction identity rather than this plastic one. As I said, I do really hope that all of the Legion specific kits do become plastic. So it would be really great to see the Dark Angel and the Night Lord and the White Scars Leviathan move to plastic rather than just being got rid of completely. It's always nice to have those unique Legion styled dreadnoughts and terminators and whatever so it is a bit of a shame if they do get rid of them and just focus on this generic plastic one but we will have to wait and see hopefully as i've said eventually maybe a few years down the line all of the uh, the legion specific stuff maybe even the primarchs will eventually be making their way over to plastic 
Overall, this is 100% a fantastic step forward. Moving to plastic is, in my opinion, always a better option than resin, and hopefully getting a fuller kit to allow you to have the melee options as well as the ranged options is coming very, very soon, so you can customize your Leviathan and you know make the most out of him, whether you want him to be just a ranged combatant at the back or someone who gets up close and just rips your opponent apart with two siege claws. I personally love the model and I cannot wait to get him painted up and put him down on the table because he does look amazing. But as always, what do you think of this kit? And do you think we will eventually be seeing more Legion specific units in plastic? Or in your opinion, will they be staying in their resin forms for at least the very foreseeable future? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me, but until next time, I'll catch you later guys.